On Thursday, the U.S. stock market was not able to continue its growth. The U.S. benchmark stock indices have been trading in a narrow range for seven days straight. Analysts are certain that new historic highs are yet to come. Today, the U.S. Labor Department released crucial data on U.S. employment in the public and private sectors, including the jobless rate for May. Investors are inspired that unemployment declined lower than expected. Why is it so positive for the market? Let's find out. Obviously, the S&P 500 is benefiting from recent upbeat macroeconomic data. According to the non-farm payrolls, the U.S. labor market added 978,000 new jobs in May. Besides, the ISM services PMI climbed to 64 points last month from 63 in April. President Joe Biden negotiated with Republicans in Congress on his package worth $1 trillion to support the domestic economy and infrastructure. Now now he advocates for a 15% minimum corporate tax rate, lower than in the bill from 2017. The proposal will be discussed in Congress on Monday. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 is trading near 4,192 and is expected to hold in the corridor of 4,150 to 4,230 points. The bullish outlook suggests that the index could hit a new all-time high. As expected, the US dollar advanced to 121.30 against the euro yesterday amid growing fears about runaway inflation in the U.S. and the likelihood that the U.S. Fed will revise monetary policy soon. In the morning, the euro-dollar pair dropped to 1.2110 as the U.S. dollar was asserting strength. Its index rose to 90.50 in the American trade. It's likely to hold in a narrow range between 90.15 and 90.80. In the U.S. dollar versus Canadian dollar pair, the loonie could touch the bottom amid the broad-based growth of the U.S. dollar. Analysts reckon that the current currency pair might reverse upwards. This scenario will come true if oil prices enter a downward correction. Today the pair is trading at about 1.2115. The expected corridor is from 1.2050 to 1.2180. We are pleased if our forecast proved true. According to the chart, Bitcoin climbed to $39,000 and developed a rapid fall. We predicted exactly the same scenario a few days ago. The most popular cryptocurrency is likely to plunge as low as $35,000 per token or even deeper in the long term before it will be able to surpass the level of $40,000. Today, market participants got to know government data on the U.S. employment for May. The report brought positive news for the market, though the actual figures were a bit lower than expected. Nevertheless, these are rather upbeat data, suggesting that American employers could continue strong hiring, pushing the labor market up to one-year highs. On the political front, we want you to take notice of two news items. First, China is sending a clear message about its interest in the truce in the trade war launched by Donald Trump. Second, Russia has made a step to worsen its relations with the U.S. The Russian finance minister stated that dollar holdings would be slashed in Russian reserve funds. Moreover, 30% of forex reserves in dollars have been already exchanged for the Chinese yuan. Follow developments in global financial markets on Insta Forex TV channel. Don't miss our videos. You forge daily financial news with me, Anna Kasatkina. See you back soon.